I was holding the mitts teaching a kid some boxing in Boxing Burn Brentwood a few years ago. And in the corner of my eye, I seen a figure walking towards the ring. And I didn't pay any attention because when I'm working with people, the, the peer person in front of us is the person who's getting all of my attention. So we're doing the mitts, moving around, working on some different form and technique. And I seen this figure come up and kind of out of the corner of my eye, lean on the ropes like this. And again, I'm not paying any attention to him catching the mitts until the bell went and it was the end of the round. And I turn around and look, and who's standing there? It's the one and only Sugar Ray Leonard, just leaning on the ropes like this, watching. And I was like, whoa, hey Ray, give him a little fist pump. And he's like, hey Tony, and he said, hey Teddy, he knew the guy I was training. And I was like, oh, ni nice to meet you. And I'm a little bit starstruck already. And after the session, I was talking to Ray and he was asking me questions about the mitts. And the reason why he was so interested in them is because when he was fighting, he never really done any mitt work. All he did was hit the heavy bag. And that makes me think if someone like Sugar Ray Leonard, one of the greatest fighters of all time, didn't really do mitts, he was hitting the heavy bag. Just what a great tool this is for you, for anyone in boxing. And on this video, I'm going to talk all about this and tell you the pros and cons of hitting the heavy bag. And if you're new to this channel, my name's Tony Jeffries. I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, former undefeated professional, seven times national champion, European gold medalist. And on this YouTube channel, I give you everything boxing. So if you like boxing, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. Okay, let's get on with it. And what's crazy about that story at the beginning, from there, I became friends with Ray. And we did some workouts in person. We did a workout online in 2020 when the COVID was kicking off and he's an absolute diamond of a geezer. Punching bags have been in martial arts since the entire history of military training. Forever. Obviously they've progressed of not all as nice as this guy here. And coming up in boxing gym since I was 10 years old, like Ray said, this is the main tool that we used to get better, to improve and to build our stamina, which are some of the great benefits there I'm going to get into a little bit deeper. I want to get into some of the cons about the heavy bag. Just because you go to the gym and you hit one of these doesn't mean you're going to end up like Sugar Ray Leonard or maybe go to the Olympics like I did and he did. But there's a lot of things that you can do on here that will make you worse at boxing. And that's one of the big cons about hitting the heavy bag all the time is it's not hitting your back. I mean, it's a pro as well because you're not getting hit. But, you know, we can easily get into bad habits when we're on the bag by, you know, throwing the punches, dropping our hands down, you know, switching off. Like looking at your friend over there, looking what this guy's doing over there. So when you do that, when you're training for boxing, you will get into bad habits. And the last thing we want to do is get into bad habits because it takes a long time to get out of bad habits, what I've talked about, about lots on this channel. Also, hitting the heavy bag round after 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 round, which you've got to do if you want to get better at boxing, is boring. It can get boring as Yes, it will be. But the consistency of doing this over and over again, working on good form and technique will make you better at boxing. And as well, doing this for round after round after round after round will also help improve your stamina, which we all want. We all want great stamina. So hitting this is the best way of doing that. You know, people ask me all the time, Tony, how can I build my fitness for boxing? Do I need to get a TRX machine? Do I need to run 15 miles a day? Do I need to get a step climber? Do I need to climb up mountains? Do I need to get an ax and chop wood like we see in Rocky Balboa? Do I need to buy a chicken and run around and try and catch it? To try to, to chase this little chicken. Well, what do I gotta chase a chicken for? It's embarrassing. No, what you need to do is hit this guy. Is Box consistently on the heavy bag, and that will build your stamina and build your technique. And as well, it's great for the mind because you're building your concentration. I know it's hard, but you know, do it. And if you're not boxing to compete, great. This is a great tool as well for fitness. When you are hitting the heavy bag, when you're working on the heavy bag, you're getting a full body workout. There's not many muscles on your body that you're not working when you're hitting the heavy bag, if you're doing it properly, if you're moving your feet around, moving your upper body, you know, you're working your core as you're slipping, then you're throwing the punches, you're working on your breathing, you're working on good form, good technique, which is an absolute game changer and you will get in the best shape ever by hitting one of these guys as well as your good diet as well. And there is a right and wrong way of hitting the heavy bag. Click here next and find out exactly how you should hit the heavy bag. Click here and watch this video next.